Good Food Awards recognize all the, the terrific food artisans in America today. We have this renaissance of people doing everything from pickling to craft beer to cheese and charcuterie. Through honoring and bringing attention to the sort of people who are redefining good food in big cities and in small towns all across the country, we can really begin to change the public awareness and expectations when they go to a grocery store and are looking for something tasty. Paying attention to where the food is grown and how it should be made. And it's food that is produced with a lot of soul. Our goal isn't just to find, you know, who makes the best jam in the country, but it's really to incubate food communities around the country and to help those people who are at the forefront where they are to move forward and to be viable businesses. That they will encourage other people to follow in their footsteps and that this revolution in American food will continue to grow. I'm pleased to be the first to congratulate all of the winners of the 2012 Good Food Awards. It's kind of a pat on the back. We've been doing this for 27 years, and sometimes events like this have a really magical impact. The Good Food Award Marketplace so far has been fantastic. Not only are we thrilled to be presenting and celebrating our good food um, on our own for Theo Chocolate, but uh, with the company of so many other incredible artisans. Exposes people to different foods that they wouldn't normally see, and it's fun to have everything in one place. And to watch those aha moments, have people taste the coffee and say, wow, this really is different. So it's all. The little sum sum beer that we tried this morning definitely kicked it off well. Yeah. Perfect breakfast. <laughs> Things that are not mass produced or bland, uh, that's something worth celebrating. I look forward to watching it grow and hopefully we win more awards.